How do you look back on the first season together at Brighton in terms of the results and performances? And how well, we first of all, it's probably the strangest you know, season you know, since I've been involved in football as a player or, or the management team. I think we started really, really well. I think the players responded really well. And then I think there was a wee bit of apprehension kicked in where we felt as though in, in some games we played well and, and didn't get the result. And I think uh, as we went along, I brought a, a nervousness in, in certain aspects of the game. And, and the performances dipped a little bit. Um, and then when you start getting dragged in, I'm not going to say at the bottom of the table because we were never in the bottom three, but there's a bit of, a bit of worry sets in at a whole football club and you could, you could feel that, you could actually feel it. And then we locked down. Um, but the response in terms of uh, the players, and I've got to say that the staff, all the staff, the medical team, and it was exceptional. You know, when we came back in and we're working in small groups, I really thought that, you know, the... the, the the work ethic and the standard of fitness of the players w was really, really good. And I felt confident that we could have a good and positive end to the season. Uh, and the players were magnificent right from the Arsenal game uh, when we scored the final match. Did minutes. you think that was a turning point in the season at Arsenal? I think a lot of people, fans and, and, and people around the club, felt that that was the game that sort of changed things a bit. Yeah, well, we hadn't won for so many games. And to come back for his game against Arsenal under a new manager, Arteta, who, who you know, they've made big improvements, but it was uh, you know coming from one behind, we lost a goal maybe in the 65th minute, and to come behind in, in the last minute with the goal, you know the standard of the goal was exceptional play with McAllister and, and Malpai and, and, and Aaron Conley, and uh, to do that I think it gave us great belief, um, and from there obviously we had three games against the top three, which was only always going to be difficult, um, but uh, the lads. Uh, have been fantastic since, since lockdown uh, and all credit to everybody at Watson Football Club. And in terms of the change of style, there's a lot been made about that last season that Graham implemented. Did that uh, take longer, uh, do you think, to be to, to become you know what the players were, were used to or is, this, is that still a work in progress, do you think? I think it's very much still a work in progress. I think we have to get the balance of uh, when to play in the right areas, certainly against the top six. And uh, you know when, when, when to you know be, be different. Um, I think that's us where we have to find the balance. But I think the players have got to take great credit, you know, to to, to change philosophy. Um, and uh, I think they bought into it really, really well. I thought early on there were some super performances uh, without getting the result. And then probably later on, I think we developed a bit and to be a bit more dogged as well, which you have to in the, in the Premier League. But uh, the focus is to to to, to remain and. Uh, and you know, try to, to, to go and play. And the players that have come in, Adam Lalana and Joel Veltman and, and perhaps others a bit nearer during the end of the transfer window, the squad looks really, really strong now in all areas. There's a lot of competition for places, isn't there? Which is exactly what you want, I guess. I think it's really healthy. I think we've seen that for the first, you know, three or four training sessions that uh, you know, people are looking about, you know, they're not guaranteed to play in any area of the pitch. And I think that's really, really important. We bring in the experience of Adam Lalana. Um, and he's been fantastic. Uh, the way he spoke to the players, the way he addressed his training sessions, and uh, looking forward to working with him. And Joel Veltman as well. They're both football players, you know, they're, they're talented individuals who have played at a real high level, and they can only be good for, for the group and the squad. And what do you think is the main thing that you want to see in terms of an improvement this season with the players? What, what, what needs to, to, to get better from last season, do you think, to get the consistency and make, maybe turn more draws into wins? Well, I think what you've just said there is, is probably turning more draws into wins. Um, I think we've got to be a bit better in the final third. And it's easy to say that, everybody will say that. But uh, I thought we'd get into, you know, in certain games, real good areas and chose the wrong option. Um, and it's up to us as a, as a management team to, to help the players. And, uh, you know, in that final element, and it's about scoring goals in the Premier League. If we can add to that, I think defensively we'll be strong enough. I think in build-up we'll be good enough. But if we can add more goals to the team, I think the points tally will rise. And do you ever look back personally? I mean, obviously your career in management and playing in Scotland, and now you're in the Premier League, had a, had, had a year of it. Um, in terms of what you expected it to be and what it's actually been, is it, is it to sort of met your expectations? Most definitely. I think, you know, it doesn't matter what level you're managing it, there's still pressure on, you know, whether it's the Scottish Premier League, the second tier in Sweden, but you're talking about the English Premier League, probably one of the biggest leagues in the world. And uh, when you're, the pressure's on to, to pick up points, you're having a hard time. 
It's how you deal with it as a, as a group, as a management team. And, and the players are under enormous pressure. But I think in terms of the football season, I think everybody coped really, really well with it. Do you enjoy it? Can you enjoy it? Uh, you know, the pressure and the expectation of a coach of a Premier League club? I really enjoy it. Um, you know, at this stage in my career, the team involve with top professionals at the top of their profession. And it's not until you're, you're on the touchline and you see the level and, and the, the you know, physicality and, and the technical ability of some of these players. It's amazing. Uh, and, and I really, you know, soak in every minute and really enjoy it.